Hi guys, Dave Wilson here. Now, question. Which tool actually gets better the more you use it and the more worn it gets? Do you know? The rawhide mallet. And this is an essential part of every jeweler's toolkit. So, if you don't have one already, then come with me. Let's take a look at it. Follow me. So this is a brand new rawhide mallet and they come in a range of sizes, this is quite a small one, you can get much bigger ones with bigger heads and more weight and they're used anywhere where you need to hit something but you don't want to mark it or flatten it, so assembly jobs, automotive, carpentry, furniture assembly, double glazing and of course jewellery making. Basically it consists of a wooden handle and the head is made up of a piece of rawhide or buffalo leather which has been glued and tightly rolled to form the head and then screwed onto the handle. And finally the whole thing is coated in a thick layer of varnish or lacquer and so it's very very hard when it's brand new. And so before we can use it for jewellery we need to condition it rather like a pair of leather shoes you need to soften them up before they become usable. So how do you condition a mallet? Well what you need to do is to break up the surface and open up the grain of the leather. Now there are many ways to do this and you'll eventually discover your own ways that work for you. Some people suggest sanding and filing the surface. This is okay but it's hard work and time consuming. Some people use a steel hammer to whack it and break up the surface, um, especially a sharp cross peen hammer. So that works a little. Some people use a chisel or a screwdriver and stab the surface, but again, it's hard work and it's time consuming. Some people have suggested using a sander or a grinder. Now, a fine grit isn't going to do much, but a very rough one like this will certainly help to break the varnish seal, but it's still quite superficial. A much easier method is to soften the leather by soaking it in some warm water. So here I've got some warm tap water and just dunk the head in and make sure that it's completely covered. And a small hammer like this, I'd leave it for about half an hour or so. If you've got a larger mallet then it may take a couple of hours before it starts to soften. But do check it periodically and do that by using a screwdriver to poke the surface and see if it indents. So this one's had about half an hour now. Uh, once you feel it's starting to soften, just give it a quick wipe, take it outside and find a curb stone or the corner of a wall or maybe the corner of the sidewalk or something like that. Brick, concrete or sandstone is even better. Put on a pair of safety glasses and whack the wall with it. And if you find a sharp edge, corner of a wall, then that will help to break the surface of the mallet up a little easier. It should only take a few minutes, but don't forget to do both faces. And if you find you're not really getting anywhere, then put it back in the water, soak it for a little bit longer and try again. And remember, you're only trying to break and soften the faces of the mallet, so don't whack the sides or the rest of the head or the handle. When you're happy with it, leave it to dry and then check it over very carefully. Make sure there's no contamination. You don't want bits of rock embedded in the end of your mallet. So if there's any stones in it, just pick them out with a little scrub or something. And then again, use a screwdriver to just test it and make sure that there's no hard spots anywhere. If there are, soak it in the water again and just rework it to just soften out those hard spots. And you only need to do this process once. And once you've done it, you'll find that as you use and you work with your mallet it will start to soften up more and more and more and the head will flow out and get wider and that's exactly what you want so don't worry about how it looks when it starts to get tatty the worse it looks the better it will be and it will be great for hammering rings on a mandrel making bangles work herding wire or earring hooks and you will find it immensely useful in your jewelry shop so whereas your nylon or rubber hammer will deteriorate with use, the rawhide mallet will actually get better with age. Bit like myself. So, I've been Dave Wilson. Thanks for watching and I'll see you real soon on the next video. Bye for now.